Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is probably the second to last video I'll do. I'll do another one when it's all done. I was waiting to get everything kind of finalized and done before I posted it. So I thought, well, I gotta make it look nice. And But you know what? The facts of it are, it doesn't look nice. Construction is really dirty. There's a big mess. It's a lot of work, a lot of cleanup. So I thought I would show you kind of the, the end product of, of what this house looks like when it's quote unquote done, but I mean, it still has a little bit of work here and there to get finished. So I just had to give you a little update. But you can see the floor, it's a mess. I mean, the floors are just completely covered in debris and residue from the grout. So got a steamer ordered on Amazon that should be here tomorrow. Gonna steam up this bad boy Get it nice and cleaned up, ready for habitation. But I wanted to show you kind of the tile. You guys haven't seen that yet. This is some trim I've been putting in for the doors. Kitchen. Kitchen is uh, pretty much in. I still have to put this end cap on here, but you can kind of see what it looks like. Kind of get a general idea. Got the propane stove, still gotta hook up the gas line. Got the sink in, but you can just see, I mean, this is the chaos of, of a construction zone. I wanted everyone to see that, because it's not all warm and fuzzy like you see on Instagram. I mean, there's there's chaos too, right? But um, still have to put some shelves in here, and I wanna build a little door for this. That's yet to come. I have to figure out the door situation here. I think I'm gonna get some, I have some bifold doors actually in here. So I gotta trim this out. Gotta add a little bit more juice to that, which I'm gonna do with those boards over there. Just gotta rip them down a little bit. But, I've got a water heater. It's got hot water. That's pretty cool. Washer and dryer's hooked up. Did a little wash. And I moved this old washing machine from the other house. And the lid switch broke the very first time I went to use it. I filled it up with water, all the way up with water. The lid switch died. It just broke. What are the chances, right? So, bypass the lid switch. Works great. Did some laundry. Everything's all good. So I got this trim up here. It's not done yet. Don't judge me. This piece I put on backwards. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> you can see it's supposed to be smooth like that. And I put this one on backwards. I'm just, my plan is to sand it. I don't know. But here's the rest of the trim. Did this stuff right. Can't really decide how the paint's going to go on these. If we're going to do white, black, I don't know. I haven't decided. But it's on there. Still need to figure this doorway out. This is an odd size. It's 38 inches. Um, thinking maybe I'll just trim it out and put a curtain rod and maybe a little nice curtain in there. That's looking better and better every day. There's those bifold doors I was talking about for the hallway. I got two of those bad boys. Oh, there's the other one. Yeah, so you can see all the tile, all the grout. It's super messy right now. I literally today just finished grouting this. You can kind of see the rest of the room in here. Chaos, I'm telling you, chaos everywhere. Just like, <laughs> this is real life, folks. This is what it looks like, okay? Also, if you haven't an idea of where to find a stud, and you don't have a stud finder, let me show you a little trick. This is a magnet, okay? So what I did is I went like this until I found a screw head. And when I found a screw head, it's stuck like that to the wall, and that's how I found the stud, the magnet. But as you can see, I tried a number of times <laughs> to find it before I found the stud. So that's real life. That's what we do. I still have to trim out this door. Literally working on that tonight. Gonna look just like those ones right there. By the end of the evening, that will be done. So. That's it. That's the whole house. It's pretty much 
pretty much moving already. Oh, you guys have you seen the bathroom yet? You can see the bathroom. Yeah, you guys have seen the bathroom. <sighs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that butte. I'll tell you what, this is uh this wall was supposed to be like here. I'm like, well, why would you put it right there? You don't have any space. So it moved over just a little bit there. So we have plenty of room in there. That's that's what it's all about, folks. Don't, don't sell yourself short in the toilet area, okay? Shower's in. Shower's working. I took a shower in this bad boy last night. It was great. Still planning to put some shelves in there. Got this fancy new sink in here. Ooh, ah. Look at that. Oh, got water. Speaking of which, this water you see here is leaking from this brand new, out of the box faucet. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's leaking. Can you believe that? And it's outside my Amazon return window. So I can't return that bad boy. So, these are the guys right here. It sold me that leaky faucet. So I'm gonna get another one. Not that brand, but another one. I think it was only like 40 bucks, something like that. But just, you know, those kind of things happen. There's nothing you can do about it. So, that's the house. That's everything. It is pretty much done. Uh, I mean, other than being cleaned, got to clean everything up, pick up all the trash, and uh, yeah, be moving in this weekend, I'm guessing. So this has been a long journey. Started this process in January of this year. It's now November. What is today? November 15th. So, to be exact, started on January 15th and ended on November 15th. And, you know, this process is not fun. If anybody is thinking, hey, I'm going to build a house. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. It's a long process. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of literally like just giving your life over to this house <laughs> for about a year, I would say. It's about what it takes. So if you've got a year of your life to dedicate to building a house, you can do this too. Cost about, with the land, about $268,000. That's with everything. Everything you see here. House, land, tools I might have bought, 268 grand. The land, 135,000. So you can kind of see what the rest cost. This house is small, it's not real big. It's two bedroom, one bath, 960 square feet. It's 24 feet wide by 40 feet long. And it's on um, cement slab, sort of, post and pier slab combination. It has little baby stem walls in the bottom. You guys can go back in the videos and watch that if you want. But it's just a basic house. This is where all my money goes. I mean, all of it. I'm, I'm pretty excited to stop pouring money into a house. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. It's going to be crazy. I'm just going to be living here. So, anyways, um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Please do. I will do a final walkthrough video when it's all shiny and clean and there's no sawdust and pieces of tile and grout and mortar all over the place. So you can see the final product and it's all Instagram ready. But um, if you're thinking about doing this, do it. Take the time. It's a lot of work, but at the end of the day, you can build it the way you want. And it's going to be a lot cheaper to build it yourself than to pay to go out and buy one like this. Okay. I'm in Hawaii. If I were to go out and buy this house... If I would just go down to the bank and say, hey, I need a loan, five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars. That's what this would cost here in this area, in this location where I'm at. So 
268 versus 500. Can't beat that, right? And that's everything, man. That's permits, electrical, plumbing. Couldn't do the electrical and plumbing myself here in Hawaii. Had to be done by a professional contractor. The rest I could do myself. Friends and family helping out. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone that's helped out. Everyone that's watching this that came over and helped. Uncle Joe, Mark, um, everybody. I mean, you guys all made this happen, and I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for your help. Couldn't have done it without you. But uh, before I get all sentimental, I'll let you go. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. So you can catch that final video. And I think I'm going to start turning the channel into kind of the daily life in Hawaii. Just kind of what I go and do and the places I go and the things I do and the foods I eat. So if you're interested in watching that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. And uh, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. It also helps me on my end, so please do. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.